What is up people, Dunna here, and today I wanna to talk about what I think is the secret weapon of Adobe Lightroom that nobody is talking about on YouTube for some reason. Let's go. I really can't believe that nobody's talking about this. Okay, so this is gonna be one of those things that's gonna seem so simple that you might feel a little bit silly that you haven't been using it this whole time, but for some reason, nobody's talking about this. So right off the bat, I say everybody is kinda of in the same boat on this one. Hopefully, some of you get something out of this and don't think that I'm just like some kind of lunatic. Now when you watch all these like tutorial videos and YouTube videos on how to edit stuff in Lightroom, you know, they talk about the highlights and the shadows and the exposure and all that kind of stuff that you need to be adjusting. And they usually show you how to do it all on your own from the start to the finish. I even have videos out there where, you know, I'm showing you all the little intricacies of how to do it. But there's something that people are underutilizing that would make their lives so much easier. Now a lot of people like to use presets and that's like a nice one click way to get a good starting point. And you know, I'm, I'm the same way. I have a bunch of presets. I bought some packs online. I've got the Chris Howe ones, which I really love, the Peter McKinnon ones, which are also really great. But sometimes you run through all your presets and you just can't find something that's gonna work. And in that case, you gotta go manual. But I'm here to tell you that there's one little thing that's almost like a preset that's gonna take you to the next step where you can then just start tweaking. Instead of having to start completely from scratch, you can just start from a place where things are looking pretty good and and then you can tweak from there. And that is the auto button. Adobe Lightroom has a friggin' brain inside it. And it can look at your picture and say, what do we need to do to this picture? How do we fix this? How do we make it look better? And generally, I find probably 85 or so percent of the time, it does a really good job. So what I've done is I've picked a couple of photos here. These are photos that need some work. And we're just gonna roll through and I'm gonna hit the auto button and see what it does. And that way I can show you exactly what I mean when I say Adobe Lightroom's auto button is a super useful feature and not enough people are talking about you using it because it's a super easy way to start off your editing. So hopping into Adobe Lightroom here, this first picture over Lake Soyuz, let's just hit that auto button right here. So you can set your, your white balance and stuff too, but let's just hit the auto button and see what it does. Bam, right off the bat, pulls down the highlights, pushes up the shadows, whites up, blacks down. I don't think it touches the clarity. I don't think it wants to do that for you. Vibrant saturation does a little bit there. That's looking way better. Before, after, so much better. Let's go to the next one. All right, up in a plane. Here we go, auto, boom, pulls down the highlights. A bunch of that detail back in the sky, pulls up the shadows, a little bit of detail back in the dark parts of this wing here. Ready to tweak, not done, but ready to tweak now. This one, oh, it looks like I might have already done some things. Oh yeah, I got my curves messed here. That's okay, look at how garbage that looks. Let's hit the auto button, bam. Look at all that detail we got back, love it. Next one. Same thing, looks like I already messed with the tone curve a little bit. Back to the basic panel, hit the auto button, bam. NAM convention, this was fun. If you haven't seen my videos on it, make sure to go check them out. I'll link them up here and down in the description. Auto button, boom, look at that. Get all that detail back in the sky, all in the shadows, love it. The moon at like 3 p.m. in Anaheim, auto button. Bam, brings it way up. Love it, look at all the detail we got back in these palm trees. Look at a funny little bird hanging out there. What's he doing? Oh, okay. This one's pretty good. I might not even touch this one after. Next one, we got a miniature Ferris wheel. Let's hit that auto button, see what happens. Almost nothing. This one might've been good to start with. It seems to be doing something, but just not much. All right, moving on. So the last one here, the mountains in the background, little walkway. Boom, brings up the shadows, pulls down the highlights, you get all your detail back, pulls back the contrast a little bit. This is a great starting place. This is a this is a perfect example of one that I don't think really looks that good yet, but it definitely brought it a long way from where you couldn't see anything and the colors look kind of funky and you know, you don't see anything in the sky. You hit that auto button and all of a sudden, bam, you got clouds, you got sky, you got mountains. So as you can see, the auto button is not a fix all. It's not like a preset that you can just like apply to everything. But the cool thing is that it's almost like using a preset, except it's built different for each photo. Adobe Lightroom is going to analyze that photo and decide what it thinks needs to be done. And 
I think it does a pretty good job. It almost always gives me a good starting place. Like I said, like 85% of the time, it does exactly what I probably would have done anyway. It just saves me like five minutes. Why not hit it? If it doesn't work, you hit undo and you're good to go back to zero. I hope you found that useful. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out. Share this video with your friends if you think they might be interested in this. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see on these tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.